show up at your polling place, they can't stop you from voting. Mm. They can't stop you from voting. If people want to know how to vote, then you can go to IWillVote.com. Many of the millennials, dreamers, undocumented uh, citizens, and I call them citizens because they contribute to this country, are fearful of voting. So if I vote, will immigration know where I live? Will they come for my family and deport us? Not true. Okay. And the reason is, first of all, when you vote, you are a citizen yourself, and there is not a situation where the voting rolls somehow are transferred over and people start investigating, etc. The sanctity of the vote is strictly confidential in terms of who you voted for. If you have a family member who maybe is undocumented, then you have an even greater reason to vote. Joe Biden got elected. Mm -hmm. He said he wanted to fast track four million undocumented uh, residents to full citizenship. Black people completely ignored it. Mm -hmm. I spoke on it. I said, do you know why he want to fast track four million? Because he know he's not going to do nothing for us. We ain't going to be motivated to vote for him November. So what he's going to do is have these migrants already set up with citizenship so they can replace the black vote that he loses. The migrants are being put in our communities on purpose, New York and Chicago on purpose, because they are what? The two blackest cities in America. They're the two largest cities in America. They're the two most politically conscious black communities in America. So if we can wash out the black with the brown in New York, if we can wash out the black with the brown in Chicago, Philly don't stand a chance. Atlanta don't stand a chance. L.A., Houston, Dallas, Detroit, Chicago don't stand a chance. The migrants are here for three reasons. Replace us at the polls. Replace us at the uh, low, low end industry jobs. What part of China are you from? You're from China. Uh, China. Liaoning province in China. Uh, how did he get to the United States? You're from China. Uh, I should say, by smuggling. The Darien Gap. You uh, yeah. Yeah, by Darren Gap. How, how do you drive an Uber that's not your account? Can you explain the way that works? How do you do that? And so, does Uber check your face? Uber Zhang Hao Xiao in the Lian No, Uber accounts doesn't need to scan his face. But they need to scan the account owner's face. Yeah, the Uber account need to scan the owner's face, but not his. And so, is it random when Uber scans the face, or do you know when it's going to happen? It's random. It's a random scene. So what happens if he's driving and Uber says, let me scan your face right now? What does he do? What do you do? He will stop driving and then find the owner to scan the face. Look at what Eric Adams is doing over there in New York. A family of four is getting $1,400 a month. $1,400 a month. Do you know that that's more than what some of the veterans are getting with a the child? They're getting more money than veterans who served in the military. Damn. Not only that, they're getting free food stamps, free child care, and permanent housing. Although New York City has a black homelessness rate no less than 35%. So you got black people who pay taxes living on the street, and you got migrants who ain't paid a single tax in their life eating and living better than the black people who built the country. If I was talking to Eric Adams and Brandon Johnson of Chicago, I would ask them something. What are the Democrat? What is the Democratic Party giving you guys that you're willing to sacrifice your political future to push this migrant agenda? Because I don't see how they get reelected by black folks. I don't see how. And if your city goes to the migrants, you can best believe the migrants ain't electing no black person to mayorship. So you're literally dying on your sword for the Democratic Party. Get out your bougie feelings and deal with the reality. One third of black men have a felony. So there's a lot of jobs they will never qualify for. Mm -hmm. They are mostly what? Essential workers, warehouse, trucking, security. And a lot of those jobs are going to who? The migrants. So that's what he meant by black jobs. We got to stop being so sensitive and look at the reality of it. I was reading a report the other day. They said 
the uh, Latinos taking over his taking over the uh, uh, construction jobs. They taking them over, mm-hmm. and, and the low industry work like your gardening, and your landscaping, completely taking it over. In the country to allow non-citizens to vote at the ballot box. Non-citizens are prohibited from voting in federal elections. But municipalities in Maryland, Vermont, and here in California have allowed non-citizens to vote in local elections. Former President Trump says he wants to return to the White House to secure the southern U.S. border. He claims Democrats are allowing immigrants into the country and signing them up to vote. I believe now that that's why they're allowing these people to come in. People that don't speak our language, they're signing them up to vote. Is that right? No, what he suggested isn't even possible. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. Actually vote illegally with the penalties that are in place. Uh, it happens know, all the time, Senator. It happens pres- all the time. You You're presented- just saying it's not widespread. But I'm saying we don't know how spread it is because we don't detect it. You- I'm on the website for the state of California to register to vote. On the section that has where you put in your driver's license and your last four of your social, there's a box underneath each one that says, I don't have one, I don't have one. And then you're allowed to proceed to go to vote. So this idea that you're not allowed to register to vote unless you present some sort of identification is not accurate, it's not true, it's not being implemented in the state of California. Additionally, people are being registered to vote at the DMV. And we already know based on audits that the DMV has improperly registered people to vote, including illegal immigrants. And we have immunity in place that says if the DMV registers someone who is not eligible, they're immune for prosecution. So I, I don't believe we have sufficient safeguards in place that detect and prevent people from committing voter fraud. The day when Americans might trade their freedom in a constitutional republic for the promise of government guaranteed equality and security in a democracy. And beyond that, to the day when democracy inevitably degenerates into dictatorship, guaranteeing nothing but poverty and serfdom for the people it robs and rules. To the Red Love Show, the best podcast on YouTube.